performance, we welcome up Dana Alexander. Oh my God, you guys sound great. I was wondering when he was going to take his helmet off. I thought that was the funniest thing going. All right, so nice to be out here. I'll make some noise if you guys have ever been to a gay pride parade. Yes, I love the gay pride parade. The only thing I don't like about the gay pride parade is when companies use it specifically to advertise, right? You're trying to have a good time. Do your thing you're like, wow, there goes the gay royal bank. <laughs> I'm just saying it's a gay pride parade you know do your thing do a backflip it's a parade i come from a gay family uh, my little brother is gay a lot of people believe that being gay is a choice i know this is not a choice because i've met gay toddlers <laughs> some funny shit let me tell you <laughs> there's never a moment in my brother's life when he wasn't gay when my brother came out of the womb it was just like hey <laughs> Now the hard thing that was hard for my brother was uh, we come from a Jamaican side on my uh, Jamaican family on my father's side. Now I don't know if you know anything about Jamaican culture, but it's a very homophobic culture. And I gotta say, it was very difficult for my brother growing up because all he wanted to do in his childhood was dance. He had to do it like Anne Frank in the basement, the poor thing. Right? You catch him downstairs, he's doing all these dance moves. All like, I've got broken bones, not from the stick system, but from the man. <laughs> And my dad wasn't even trying to notice. I was like, what? what boy from Alberta knows this move? Come on, dad. Greg is gay. La, 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 la. When he found out my brother was gay, he's like, oh, don't worry. I'll talk to him. I'm like, what are you going to say? He's gay. Why don't you just come to the parade? And then I had that other uncle. like, oh, don't worry. Me and Greg will have a man-to-man -man chat. I'm like, Greg loves man-to-man. That could work, right? My mom is gay. She didn't come out in a very traditional way. What happened with my mom was she just had a bunch of new friends. I called them the short hair plaid ladies. <laughs> they were very handy. They were handy if you wanted to fix that deck, that fridge door, that window. They were there. And my mom came out when I was about 11 years old. Now, she didn't tell me. What happened was I was at one of my dad's concerts, and I remember seeing two of the short hair plaid ladies dancing very close to each other, right? Hands in each other's back pocket. I'm like, <gasps> Mom's friends are lesbians. My cousin's like, Dana, you're an idiot. Your mom is a gay. <laughs> so yes, it's nice to be here. Now, uh, you know, I was raised by, you know, a very interesting background. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm not the girliest of girls. I can't wear makeup every day. Do you ever see those girls that wear makeup that one day? Do you know what I mean? That don't wear makeup that one day. You're like, oh my God. Do you have cats? <laughs> what happened to you, right? Yes, I am not the girliest of girls. It took me until I was about 25 years old just to get a handbag. Before then, I used to just stuff everything in my bra. And then you take it off at the end, and it's like, ching, 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 ching. I'm like, look at that, car keys changed. Ooh, chicken nuggets. Anyways, you guys have been absolutely fantastic. Take care. Dana Alexander, my friends. Dana Alexander.